<laughs> All right, Vinny's laughing, but we're here for another Ground Force Fights promo interview. Today I have with me Vince Composi. He's going to be fighting June 15th at Batavia Downs Casino. Four days away, the dude's cutting weight, he's got garbage bags on, he's sweating all over my gear. Oh, man, <laughs> thanks. Is that for me? Yeah. Oh, yeah, man, Vinny brought me a shirt, man. dude. Like, this is awesome, man. Thank you. Oh, no problem. Uh, yeah. I appreciate the support and everything. God damn, man, you got a lot of sponsors. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I got uh, my tattoo artist, Inferno Studios, uh, my cousin's pizzeria, uh, WNY MMA, of course, the gym, and um, Healthy in a Hurry. Unfortunately, they're not in uh, business anymore, but uh, I switched meal prep uh, sponsors with Eat Right. So um, I've been eating good with Eat Right. You just don't have their, their name on your shirt yet? No, I got it on, actually on my other walkout shirt, uh, Vicious Ambition. So you want me to scribble this out with marker and then I'll yeah. write it? Yeah, <laughs> I mean, just pretend it's not there, but, you know, they get some free publicity, I guess. <laughs> yeah, for sure, man. I like it. All right, so... We had some craziness going out with your fight. You want to talk about it a little bit? Oh uh, yeah, it's it's been a hectic weekend. Um, I got uh, I got told this weekend that uh, my opponent got moved up to the main event because um, the main event's opponent dropped out over some issues. So I was left without a guy, and I'm just like, man, I really hope I can fight this weekend still. And um, luckily, uh, the promoter found a guy for me. Um, He's from uh, Buffalo MMA. Buffalo United Martial Arts. Buffalo, yep. Yeah. And uh, I fought him before in a kickboxing fight last year in March for Lace Up in Syracuse. Um, unfortunately, it didn't go my way. Um, I caught a bad knee, and uh, I lost in the third round. But, you know, this is MMA now. You know, we're both really experienced now, and I'm expecting the victory this time. I heard that that knee may have been slightly illegal. Yeah, like, of course, it's my opinion against everyone else's, but it definitely did hit me in the head. But um, commission, refs supposedly didn't see it, so they called it a TKO in the third round. But, um, you know, I got through adversity, and I came back stronger in my fight. That's actually, I, I lost that fight, and I came back the next week at Riverworks, and I dominated the opponent under a four-hour short-notice fight. God damn. All right, man, how did that fight with you and Max go? I heard it was really back and forth. I wasn't actually there for that one, but I heard it was a back and forth brawl, and, man, you guys were just exchanging, and it was a wild fight. It was. Um, he has a really good uh, tie, tie base to him, um, and he just he was really good at catching my kicks and uh, just dumping me on my back. And um, in kickboxing, those are just big points. You get a lot of points for those. And it sort of it tires you out, too, you know, because you're, you're getting up and down, up and down. It's a lot of force. And, um, yeah, and he, he was ripping knees on me, too. And, like, this was my second kickboxing fight, too. So, I, um, you know, I was still getting my experience and everything. He had, like, six fights, I think. When Max I fought been him fighting too. forever. I, yeah. I used to train with him back when he was like 12, man, a long ass time ago. He's been training for a long time. Yeah, so. yeah and that, that, you know, that's why I have a lot of respect for him too. You know, he's a fighter, he's a tough guy. You know, he's, I give him respect for taking this fight under such short notice too, you know. So if you're yeah. listening to this, Max, you know, it's all respect out there this weekend. For sure. Unlike you, he wasn't even on the card. At least, like, you've been preparing to fight. Yeah. Max wasn't even on this card. He just, signed up i was i suggested to rich why don't we get max you know i remember you guys fought i know max had like a fight of a night with uh one of your teammates Sponner. yeah how was that fight did you uh, watch that one yeah yeah i saw that one that was a good back and forth fight i called that one fight of the night when i was uh commentating i thought that was the best yeah. fight of the night no yeah it was just high action they were just back and forth back and forth you know how do you see this fight playing out with max um how i see this fight going out I think it's going to be an early stoppage, and I'm going to get my hand raised. Okay. I've been, I've been, you know, I've been ten times better fighter than I was last year. You know, I've been training differently. I've been, you know, just everything about how I'm fighting is a lot different now. You know, I've every fight, even if I won, I pick stuff out that I just criticized myself about, and I got back in here and I just kept on going over it and over it and over it again until I perfected it. I'm working different techniques more brutal techniques, faster techniques, you know, different stances. You know, I've been switching stances. You saw it in my last fight for FCP last 
last year in November, I was switching stances. My wrestling's gotten a lot better. I used to be just going into MMA fights and just expecting to strike it out with a guy, you know, and I learned that in my debut for FCP, and, you know, I came back stronger, and I used my wrestling to get that W, and, you know, I'm just ready for anything this weekend. Max has been a blue belt for a little bit. What is your rank in jiu-jitsu? Um, I'm a no strike white, white belt. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I just I favor the no the no gi a lot, but um, I plan on getting the gi on here soon and getting back into the classes. Yeah, it's tough for you guys that don't ever wear the gi. Like they don't really rank you unless you put a gi on. Yeah. Here, so it's tough to yeah. you know get a little bit of rank. But uh, someday you should uh, take some time, put some pajamas no, on, and do a little wrestling no, in pajamas. No, definitely. And I'm always getting in work, getting in work with like the purple belts and the blue belts too. So and a black belt. <laughs> <laughs> Why you always got thrown under the bus, man? I work with you. It's all right. We don't got to pretend like we don't train together. What do you see happening on the ground in this fight if it hits the ground? Um, Just uh, ground and pound and transitioning. You know, if he puts me in guard, you know, obviously uh, pull guard, get out of there, and just stay into side control and just look for submissions. Um, there's, um, I've been working a lot of just like arm like arm submissions you know chokes you know and i'm just going to be weary you know because obviously you know he's a blue belt you know so i'm going to be weary of the ground you know but you know i'm going to try and keep it standing most of the fight you know make him fight my fight not his fight i want him to fight my fight awesome max not really well known for his wrestling his kicking like you uh, you said before his, his kick catches are pretty good so, I mean, I could see the fight hitting the ground that way, but he's going to, I think he's going to have a hard time taking him down. He's a little bit taller, you're a little bit shorter, so it gives him a little bit more of a disadvantage, I think, trying to take you down. No, yeah. And, like, my wrestling, too, I used to, like, after my debut for FCP, I was just, like, you know, I got with the wrestlers in the gym. I was like, hey, man, I need a lot of help defending these takedowns. Like, I... I went into a fight not knowing how to defend a takedown, <laughs> and it just it it showed. So you know, I just I kept on drilling takedown defense and just like drilling takedowns too. So you know, my wrestling's a lot stronger now. Well, if you want, my wrestling class starts at twelve fifteen before the fight, so you can come in. We get a little wrestling in before you go out and fight if you want. Oh, <laughs> you know, a little warm up. I like that. Yeah. Get some good uh, sprawling, you know, ready to go. Oh, yeah, definitely. Try not to hurt you too bad. I want to make you look no, like, you know, no, Jake. We got to go really <laughs> light, really light. <laughs> so what would a win at Ground Force Fights mean to you? A win? A win means everything to me. It, You know, it, it makes me feel accomplished. You know, those two months that I sacrificed in here getting ready for this fight, it just, you know, it makes me just know that hard work does really pay off. You know, all the blood, sweat, and tears I do with my teammates in here, just training and drilling, you know, it just it's all worth it at the end when you get your hand raised. And, you know, I'm looking for my title shot if, when I win this fight, too. So I heard you're in a title hunt. I heard also that Quentin is going to be turning pro after this fight, so mm -hmm. it will probably be a vacant title. Yeah, yeah, that title is going to be mine. I'm telling you that right now. Mark my words. Awesome. I Dude, I love how they offered you the title shot, and you said, I didn't earn it yet. I need to go in there and earn it. I told I told the promoter right off the bat. As soon as he said, you want to fight for the title, I was like, I'm sorry, but I want to earn this. That made me a big fan of you. Yeah. Because, like, you know, a lot of people get these titles, and, you know, and they just, like, the promoters throw the fight together without the opponent, like, really earning it. Like, a first contender's fight, like, this weekend for me. And it's just, like... You know, I don't want nothing handed to me in this. You know, I want my hard work to show. And then when I get that belt, you know, everyone can't say anything saying like, oh, you know, you didn't earn it. No, I did earn it. I like the sound of that, man. And your last fight was spectacular. How did you feel after that win? Uh, <laughs> uh, well, with that fight, I, um, I took a pretty good uh, blow to, the, to my left eye. I thought I broke my orbital, actually, because <laughs> of how swollen and bad it was in the morning. But it healed. It took about three months. But, you know, you I, know? I, 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 I've, I fought through that fight so well, though, I thought. Because, like, in the first round, my eye was already swollen and cut. And the doctor told me, like, leading into the second round, he was like, if I see you get hit in that eye three more times, I'm calling it. Yeah. So I had to do what I had to do to win, and 
I got my hand raised. That was a nice, scrappy fight. You made a fan out of me that night. Yeah. yeah. I was really impressed. When the bell rings, the referee says fight because the bell doesn't really ring in MMA. I've been saying that a lot. And yeah. I thought about it. I was like, well, the bell doesn't really ring in MMA. The referee just says fight. fight. <laughs> when, the re- when the cage door is closed and the referee says fight, what goes through your mind? As crazy as it sounds, all that says in my head is kill, kill, kill. Because like, I, I got to put myself in this mindset when I step in there that this guy wants my head so I got to have his head, you know, it's survival of the fittest in there. And like, don't get me wrong. My mind's not, not like it's focused. I'm, I'm weary, but how I fight is pressure. I pressure my opponents. You can see it all in my videos on YouTube and just all my fights in general. I pressure and that's how I get my opponents to start messing up. They start, you know, start giving me options. And once I see my options, I start picking them apart. I like the sound of that. Why should someone spend all their hard-earned money to come watch you and Max fight? Because we're both high-paced fighters and we like striking. I have a different prediction for this fight than you, uh, you did. I think this is going to be a three-round war. And I honestly think this could be a fight of the night. I I'm so happy Rich put this fight together. I'm really excited to see. I think this is a perfect matchup between two awesome styles. Max is a little bit more flowy, and you're a little bit more brutal. I, I just can't wait to watch you guys meet at the center of the cage. No, yeah, it's definitely going to be an action-packed fight. You know, I'm sure he gotten a lot better, too, since we met last year. So uh, I'm ready for anything in there. Is a little bit of an extra special bonus if you can win this fight and get one back that you thought you should have maybe had another chance to get? Uh, yeah, yeah, definitely, <laughs> like, definitely. Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> it doesn't matter who it is. I'm definitely. The win feels the same. I'm, I'm sort of looking. I'm, I'm looking at this fight more like now that I'm fighting Max. Now it's, it's, you know, it's time for myself to prove, prove that you know that last fight was a fluke. You know, I'm a lot better now. Well, yeah. I, I got one piece of advice for you before you go out there. I would say don't start with a body kick. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, honestly, I see so many guys, especially amateurs and debuters, too. They go in there and they, they, they start going for a wild hook or they go for that wild liver shot. They don't try setting it up yeah. or anything. And, like, I mean, I was one of those guys before, too. Max can catch that shit and dump you. He's yes, good at that, dude. His yes, kick catch exactly. Phenomenal. Honestly, I think I did that in our last fight, and he dumped me. So, <laughs> so yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm known for not making the same mistake twice. So I like the sound of that, man. And I can't wait that everyone sees your ink. Your new ink looks great, man. It's going to be a good show. Definitely, man. I can't wait. It's going to be a fun weekend. I got to ask you one question about tattoos. Do you think they're intimidating to your opponent, or do you just get them because you like body art? Honestly, I just love body art, you know, and... um obviously you know i do it to intimidate some people you know but i don't try to you know but i've been told by my opponents they're like man you know you're more tatted up than i thought you were <laughs> you know all right well i got one more thing to say uh you're fighting out of the dd's ranch corner do you own any weapons oh uh, i own an arsenal do you oh yeah i got rifles i got shotguns i actually just got my pistol permit last year so i got a couple pistols so awesome man if you need an ar you should go check out dd's ranch oh yeah yeah definitely i've actually been there before they got a good selection yeah man they've been a long time sponsor for ground force fights make sure you guys check them out if you're listening definitely go check them out maybe you can shoot with vince oh yes definitely meet me at the range yeah <laughs> awesome man so if you win and he won now you both have a win over each other how are you gonna uh Determine who the best man is. You shooting contest, maybe, or checkers? What do you think? I like the shooting contest. Yeah. I bet you Max like that, too, man. That'd be pretty good. Well, thank you very much for your time, Vince. You got anyone you want to thank? Uh, I just want to thank my sponsors, everyone that, you know, is coming out to support me that uh, this weekend. It's going to be a great night. You know, I appreciate all my fans, supporters, sponsors. You know, without you guys, these camps would be a lot more harder than they are, you know. And um, I appreciate all of you, and this weekend I won't disappoint, I promise. Also, if you're going to buy a ticket from Vince, you can go to groundforcefights.com, put in Vince Capozzi as a fighter you're supporting, and then he'll get a, um, a small commission for it. So make sure you guys do that. If you're going to the fights anyways, give Vince some money. Yes, do it. <laughs> <laughs> I got one last sponsor to thank. I want you guys to check out Integrity Martial Arts. It's on Niagara Falls Boulevard. Check it out on Instagram. Check it out on Facebook. I run the gym. I'm there every Sunday. Sunday's only drop-in. Come check it out.
Yes. Thanks for your time, Vince. I love this shirt, man. I'd be wearing this. I'll take some. Let's go take some pictures out there, and then I'll post it with this interview. All right, gotcha. All right, man. Thank thanks you. a lot, man. I appreciate it. All right, thank bye you. Bye, bye.